Hey, well, how's it hanging, YouTube? It is your boy, HL5 here. Bro, why did I just fucking switch through like three different accents? What am I, mentally deficient Irish man? Speaking of people who are Irish and mentally deficient, that's precisely what we're talking about today. I didn't go into that intro thinking that that's what I was going to be tying together. It kind of just happened. But today, I'm bringing you guys another TikTok character, right? Now, for the past week, my For You page has been completely littered with just a fuck ton of these videos from this dude, Crack Boy Mental, Creek Boy Mental. I don't don't fucking know, Ciroc boy mental. But I was getting like five videos a day, all along the lines of, I'm an autistic Irish rapper, this is me performing in insert random location in Europe. <laughs> now, I'm on the fence on whether I believe this guy is actually autistic or not. I don't really want to jump the gun on it and, you know, get cancelled over it, but something about it just kind of screams intentionally trying to be funny. Maybe I'm wrong, but compared to somebody like Joshua who I covered, there's a noticeable difference. Like, somebody like Joshua it's very obvious from their tone of speech and you know just the words they use and the way they structure sentences and say shit that there's something going on up there and watching some of this dude's videos some of them are pretty convincing only one thing could do it like this only one thing on the hardcore shit <laughs> but then you watch some other ones like vape till the year 3000 and my suspension of disbelief is a little bit broken gonna vape till the year 3000 Like, there's no way he made this and it wasn't a joke. So, the way I see it, he's either just making this a big meme and he's not autistic at all, or he's slightly autistic but not, like, so far down the spectrum that he's incapable of being self-aware. And these types of characters always interest me. Like, the people who walk the line between comedic mastermind and just being a normal weird kid. I can appreciate the mystery. Quinn, what the fuck are you talking about? Isn't this guy supposed to be a rapper or something? I wanna hear this dude spit a hot 16 over a trap beat, okay? I don't wanna hear this shit. Well, shit, that's all you had to say my friend this dude has slaps for days what the fuck is good youtube we're doing a little bit of a live action segment for this part i hope you guys enjoy it you know i got my bass pro shirt on right now and i also got my uh you know wire here so you know i'm a bit i'm a bit of a country bumpkin informant you know that's how i'm feeling i'm gonna help you cook meth and then i'm gonna snitch on you okay boys so we're gonna be reacting to some of uh craig boy mental's greatest hits i'm hyped that's all i can say I think that, you know, maybe there's something I'm missing here or something. You know, as an American, I, I don't really understand the concept of this song. I don't know who Fina Gale or Fina Hall or fuck Fina Hall of Fall. I, I don't know. I don't know who they are. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused on this one, but it's turn, bro. What can I say? Now, upon discovering this dude's YouTube channel, if anything, I'm even more conflicted than I started out being. This dude has consistently made music like this for years now, which kind of makes me rethink my stance on him being a troll, because I feel like if he was just trying to play a bit, he might have done it for a few months and then given up. And on top of that, under his first post, somebody was commenting saying that they've been listening to him since like 2016, and he went by Dude With Swag. So of course I looked up Dude With Swag, and I found this account called Rip Dude With Swag, and this guy's been consistently making music for like five years. And this going out to my late buddy Harambe. And fuck them zookeepers who shot him for no reason. Like, you guys gotta think about this. This guy has been dropping music since Leafy Was Here was, like, the biggest channel on YouTube. And this guy's biggest video, which came out, like, two years ago, only ever got, like, 40,000 views. And besides that, it's only, like, 1,000 views per video. So it kind of makes me wonder why this dude has stayed down for so long. So it's kind of like this guy has to be serious about it to some extent, right? Well, these beats get rich. But then in all of his videos, they're just so fucking overly goofy, and he's literally like laughing at himself between shots. All our TVs used to be in black and white, but now they're in color. Wi-Fi used to be slow, but now it runs smooth as butter. Hey, buddy, calm down, calm down. No need to incite a rap battle, okay? I know I've already said it like five times, but this guy's entire existence online is a fucking paradox to me. I followed dude on Instagram, and turns out he has actual fans. Like, there are people that actually pay money to go to this dude's shows. Up. Here we go. Fuck 
At this point, I decided to just try to DM him and, you know, ask him a couple questions, but of course, he never responded. I ended up commenting on one of his newer posts saying, oh, check DM, I want to talk to you, and he fucking liked my comment on Instagram, but just never fucking DM me back. So he read it, he knows I exist, but he just he just doesn't want to talk to me. He doesn't even want to honor me with, like, a, a nice eat shit and die or something, like... Uh, I'm not even fucking response worthy. Okay guys, so I just had a revelation. I was going through his videos and I didn't realize it till now because obviously all of Leafy's old videos have been fucking deleted, but apparently Dude with Swag was the center of ridicule in one of Leafy's videos from way back in like 2016. And I'm gonna go on a limb and kind of assume that's like where most people know him from that do know about him. Now I know this video is kind of all over the place so far, so I'm gonna try to establish a timeline. So at some point pre-2016, there's no real records of when this dude first started making videos because obviously all we have now are re-uploads. But pre-2016, I don't know how long, but sometime leading up to then, he started making videos and then however long it took, eventually Leafy found him, made a video about him, and that's where the majority of people who know him found out about him, right? Time goes on, the dude makes a hundred responses to Leafy, and I'm pretty sure Leafy only made like two videos about him. And then in 2017, Dude with Swag gets deleted and like a phoenix out of the ashes of Dude with Swag's channel, Crackboy Mental is born. And it's a little bit up for debate whether Crackboy Mental is actually Dude with Swag. The voice matches up, the face matches up, but, you know, obviously Crackboy Mental is a bit more heavy set than Dude with Swag is, and he has the buzz cut, but it's like the exact same fucking voice, so like, I, I think it is him. And then I guess since 2017, he's been making music under Crackboy Mental, and then just now, he's gotten on TikTok. And that's how I found out about him. What does this mean for the fate of humanity? I cannot tell you. Honestly, I'm ingesting so much fucking lore at once that my head is kind of spinning. Like, there's so many leads that lead nowhere. And since this guy's only real actual fame came from like, a one-off leafy video from fucking five years ago, it's basically impossible to find any information about him. Like, the most research I can do without talking to him is going through his comment section, and it's a bunch of motherfuckers either saying it's hilarious and they love him, or, you know, they're from back in the day and they're like, Leafy sent me, I hate you, you're cringe. I don't even lie though, this dude's videos kind of put me off a little bit, especially his old stuff, because it's so fucking random that, like, it's almost kind of hard to wrap my head around. Like, the titles of the videos, the effects, it's it's so hard to decipher that, like, I honestly cannot tell if this dude is insane or he's just fucking playing a character. Like, if he's playing a character, I, I'm, like, actually amazed. Like, this guy has fucking played a character to, like, a couple thousand people, not, like, a huge amount of people for, like, years at this point. Like, actual years. And some of the content is, like, so fucking out there and random that, like, I doubt anybody who's not slightly autistic or crazy could even come up with something fucking half as surreal. But nonetheless, I appreciate this because it's a little bit of a time capsule into the past and, you know, it's kind of fun to explore these little, like, random fucking online communities that are formed around some, like, niche micro-celebrity. Honestly, there's not really much I can tell you guys besides go watch his videos. Like, this shit is almost hard to put into words. Maybe there's, like, some puzzle piece to all this that just makes it make perfect sense that I'm just not seeing because I'm not Irish or something and somebody's gonna point it out in the comments and I'm gonna look like a dumbass, but honestly, I can't fucking come up with any interpretation of why he does this, what the point of it is, when did he start doing this, fucking anything about this. I really just don't fucking get it. But, uh, you know, that's all I have to say. Just go check out his videos, dude, because I'm... This was almost too much for me. I fucking opened up a can I can't close. But if you have any information about this dude, like you're older than me and you remember fucking 2016 more clearly, then, you know, uh, fucking tell me, dude, and I'll make a follow-up video or something, because I want to know too. I'm kind of confused. But, uh, you know, that's all I have for you guys. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug... Bed... Uh, <laughs> bed bugs bite. And, uh, don't let the HO fights... Fights... Bye. Oh, yeah, by the way, go stream Autistic Legend.